So, back again for another uh, review video. <clears throat> this time I'm doing the uh, Trumpeter 135th scale Russian T62 uh, 1962 mod. Now, um, this kit I'm actually planning to do as the next tutorial video, as a sort of basic intro to armor models. So, um, this is so you could say a uh, video is zero, zero in that set. So, let's open it up. Now, one nice thing about the Trumpeter boxes is they're really sturdy. They're built up, made out of a little thicker cardboard, so it's re really sturdy and it's quite nice. Uh, you get a full color um, paint cue. Uh, my one complaint is if you look in the uh, both the box art and the built pictures you see that the gun uh, area here I don't know how well that's coming in but hopefully you can see but here the around the muzzle break area is a painted a different color yet in the paint cue they don't give you any type of call out for that so that's my one that's one of my complaints with this uh, kit but uh, one of the reasons I chose this for the um, build video is because it's all one color for the most part, save for the treads. And yeah, I, I figured it'd be a good intro video. Uh, excuse me. Now, I also really like the way Trumpeter did their instruction sheet. It's very straightforward, easy to read, uh, gives you all the options that you can do. And obviously, you're gonna have to check references, see which option parts you need, and so forth to build the particular one you're doing. But the fact that they show you where those options are is quite nice. And yeah, so uh, as you can see, several different sprues, uh, top of the tank and the turret base. Uh, one of the options for the. Um, muzzle brake and such. Uh, some s the tops of the uh, armor sides above the treads, the uh, various um, hatches and such. And all the plastic is very nicely cast, very clean, no flash, fl or flash, sorry, uh, that I can see whatsoever. And yeah, uh, it's a very nice casting and great uh, here we got the road wheels and what, it feels like a little different type of plastic than the rest of it. I'll just pull one. It just, it feels a little different and feels lighter than the other plastic. I'm not sure if they cast in something else, but yeah, it feels like, um, made of, as I said, the hard, a hard plastic. I've seen in some cases that... The, these are done in uh, more of a rubbery plastic. But uh, here we have all the wheel and sprocket parts, and plus the parts for doing the tanks and gas tanks in the back. Uh, some more detail parts. And then here we have all the little parts for doing the treads. Now, your immediate um, thought may be hey, that's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. But let me tell you, um, I've only built one kit with vinyl tracks, a, came in a big, long, rubbery type thing, and I hated them. I do not like them. So from a personal standpoint, those are better, you can do, get more realistic with them. And yeah, I mean, the only step up from there would be obviously getting act, aftermarket metal tracks, which... <laughs> probably cost what you do cost as much as the kit itself now here's one nice thing I like about this is hopefully this will show up in the on camera I don't know how well it will but here on the turret itself I, there's subtle little casting details that they did to give it more of like a cast iron almost effect and hopefully this will if I can get this to focus. Yeah, but no, I mean, it's really nice. It's subtle, 
but it really I think once painted and all that will give it a very realistic look right out of the box which uh, I guess is quite nice so props to Trumpeter for that uh, now and he, here's the um, turret bay ace which is pretty standard for 135th scale armor but one nice thing about this kit is it comes with a metal barrel out of the box uh, that that I was really impressed by and no oh, excuse me yeah my one complaint though it doesn't go very deep but it still gives you the effect but uh, again metal barrels are by far the best you can use on armor kits or at least tanks well it, metal barrels for anything is the best because they look the best all right uh, moving on now uh, we got some clear parts the decal sheet though for some reason I don't know why they chose to they tape this cover sheet on so just leaving it free don't ask me why uh, a little national symbol there that was quite nice I uh, also like the fact that they included just bare numbers so you could theoretically make your own particular tank number and build your own just slip this back in the Plastic. And last but not least are the photo etch parts and a copper wire for doing the tow cable. Uh, these are nice inclusion. Uh, they definitely do add some to the detail. So, yeah, I mean, it, yeah, to look at this, it looks like a good solid beginner kit. And, yeah, I mean, it looks straightforward. The only real part that you might get some frustration out of is the the tracks, just because that's going to take a while. And but yeah, as I said, it it's not a bad looking kit. So uh, look forward to uh, seeing a build video of this in the future. I uh, don't know when because of school, but yeah, look forward to that.